students um, from uh, previous uh, our session so we learn about uh, euclid's division lemma and uh, what are the number systems uh, what are real numbers uh, and applications of euclid division lemma that means uh, what are the applications of euclid division lemma to find hcf of any two numbers uh, using euclid's division lemma and uh, some of the problems we solved uh, using euclid's division lemma now uh, we are ready to learn about the fundamental theorem of arithmetic fundamental theorem of arithmetic uh, before uh, to learn this uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic we have to know some important points what are these uh, types of numbers what are types of numbers all of you know about uh, even numbers even numbers what are even numbers the numbers which are divisible by 2 are the numbers which are multiples of 2 are called even numbers that means uh, these are 2 4 6 8 and so on okay 0 is also an even number 0 is also an even number why because the general form of even number is 2n the general form of even number is 2n that means in the place of n we can substitute natural numbers from 1 to infinity if we substitute we get 1 2 ones are 2 if we substitute a whole number 0 2 zeros are 0 okay so from this we can say that uh, uh, 0 is also a even number next numbers are odd numbers what are odd numbers the numbers which are not even are odd numbers the numbers which are not even are odd numbers those are 1 3 5 7 uh, 9 and so on okay these are odd numbers the numbers which are not even are called odd numbers okay and the general form that means formula for this the odd numbers is 2n plus 1 you can say uh, 0 also belongs to odd numbers but uh, from this uh, general formula we cannot say that 0 belongs to odd number because if we substitute here 0 that means 2 zeros are 0 plus 1 that means we uh, get 1 as a odd number okay so next uh, numbers are prime numbers next numbers are prime numbers so what are prime numbers so the numbers which have one and itself as factors are called prime numbers that means if a number has only one and itself minimum to maximum two factors so maximum two factors those numbers are called prime numbers so prime numbers are starting from 2 3 5 7 9 is not a prime number because it has 1 9 3 also factors so 7 11 13 and so on these are prime numbers and next type of numbers are composite numbers so next type is composite numbers what are composite numbers the numbers which have the numbers which have at least two factors and above two factors above two factors that means one and itself and other factors also are called composite numbers so what are composite numbers the numbers which have at least two factors and above two factors that means uh, one and itself as factors uh, other than one and itself also they have another factors those type of numbers are called composite numbers first composite number is four first composite number is four so four have one and four and two also is a factor of four that means uh, it has one and itself and another number is also a factor that means four next uh, composite number is six and next composite number eight composite number nine and next uh, twelve and so on so these are composite numbers okay so uh, 
uh, even number, odd numbers, prime numbers and composite numbers are types of numbers you learn in previous classes or previous uh, classes. Okay. And now, today, we are going to know about fundamental theorem. Before that theorem, you have to know prime factorization. So, prime factorization. What is prime factorization? What is prime factorization? If we write a number as the product of primes, if we write a number as the product of prime numbers, then that type of uh, product is called as prime factorization. So, what is prime factorization? Writing a number as the product of prime numbers. So, if we take a number, for example, um, 42. For example, 42. So, writing this number as the product of only prime numbers. Product of only prime numbers is called prime factorization. Okay. First of all, so to find the prime factorization of a number, we use so many methods. I use division method. That means you have to divide this uh, with only prime numbers. So, I use 2. First prime number to divide 42. So, you get 2 divides 4 2 times and 2 1 time. Okay. And next. Uh, next prime number you use 3. So, 3. How many times? 7 times. And next prime number 7. Okay. You get 1. Okay. So, 42 can be written as, 42 can be written as 2 into 3 into 7. So, 2 into 3 into 7. Okay. So, uh, how can you write 42 as the product of only prime numbers? 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number and 7 also a prime number. So, 42 is equal to 2 into 3 into 7. So, writing a number as the product of primes is called as uh, prime factorization. Okay. So, someone uh, do this uh, division with uh, 2. Starting with 2. Another one takes first. First takes it as 3. That means uh, you can also say that uh, 42 is equal to uh, 3 into 2 into 7. Okay. And next thing. Another person uh, can write 42 as 7 into 3 into 2. So, whatever may be the order, whatever may be the order, the uh, prime factorization is unique. Whatever may be the order, the prime factorization is unique. Okay. So, what type of number 42 is? What type of number 42 is? It is even number it is composite number. Okay. So, take another one that is 9. Okay. And uh, do this uh, prime factorization with uh, 3. 3, 3 is 9. So, 3 will go 1 time. That means uh, you can write it as uh, 9 is equal to 3 into 3. So, both 3 is mm -hmm. Prime numbers. So, this is prime factorization. Okay. And what type of number is this? 9. 9 is the odd number and, and composite number. Odd number and composite number. That means the um, common number is the common type of number is composite number. That means how many numbers, whatever may be the, those are composite numbers okay so every composite number can be every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes so every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes and this factorization is unique this factorization is unique unique means only once. That means here also the same factors and here also the same factors. But the order is changed. Whatever may be the order. 
So this is uh, called fundamental theorem of uh, arithmetic. So what is fundamental theorem of arithmetic? So see here fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes. And this factorization is unique. Unique means only one. Unique. Apart from the order in which the prime.